In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we celebrate Mass in honour of St Benedict, and it's a special privilege and joy for me to do so, uh, because our founder, Nathaniel Woodard, the founder of our community of schools, had great devotion to St Benedict, being born on his Saint's Day on the 21st of March in 1811 in the old calendar. Uh, up here in the Midlands at Denston College, the side chapel is dedicated to St Benedict. So we give thanks to God for the Benedictine movement, for all the blessings that it has brought to the Church, to the Catholic Church and to the Anglican Church too. Uh, and we remember the first word of the rule of St Benedict. Listen. We pray that we may listen to the Word of God, to be attentive to the Lord speaking to us in our lives, day by day. First, we remember that we are sinners, that we stand in need of God's mercy and forgiveness and love, so that we may become more like our Lord Jesus Christ. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit, Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy. You intercede for us at the Father's right hand, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, who made Benedict a wise master in the school of your service and a guide to many called into community to follow the rule of Christ, grant that we may put your love before all else and seek with joy the way of your commandments. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. My son, if you take my words to heart, if you set store by my commandments, tuning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to truth, yes, if your plea is for clear perception, if you cry out for discernment, if you look for it as if it were silver and search for it as for buried treasure, you will then understand what the fear of the Lord is and discover the knowledge of God. For the Lord himself is giver of wisdom. From his mouth issue knowledge and discernment. He keeps his help for honest men. He is the shield of those whose ways are honourable. He stands guard over the way, paths of justice. He keeps watch on the way of his devoted ones. Then you will understand what virtue is, justice and fair dealing, all paths that lead to happiness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast, the humble shall hear and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me, together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me, from all my terrors he set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look towards him and be radiant, let your faces not be abashed, this poor man called. The Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. I will bless the Lord at all times. 
The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Revere the Lord, you his saints. They lack nothing, those who revere him. Strong lions suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Mighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips, that I may worthily proclaim the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, how happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter spoke to Jesus. What about us, he said? We've left everything and followed you. What are we to have then? Jesus said to him, I tell you solemnly, when all is made new and the Son of Man sits on his throne in glory, you will yourselves sit on twelve thrones to judge the twelve tribes of Israel. And anyone who has left houses, brothers, sisters, father, mother, children, or land, for the sake of my name, will be repaid a hundred times over, and also inherit eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. We pray that we may respond to that challenge in the Gospel, to place the Lord Jesus at the centre of our lives, above all other commitments. We pray that we may become good disciples. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. So we give thanks for St. Benedict. We pray for all those who live by his rule in Benedictine communities across the Catholic world. We pray especially for the monastery at Monte Cassino, which he founded. We pray too for Benedictine schools, and I ask your prayers for the schools of the Woodard family. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our world at this time of international crisis, with the pandemic. We pray for all those who are working to create a vaccine for this disease. That they may have the wisdom of God we pray for our community and our nation we pray for honesty in public life Lord hear us Lord graciously hear us We hold before the Lord any we know who are in any kind of need or trouble. We remember especially all those who are shielding themselves. And we ask this all who suffer in any kind of way 
may know the healing touch of God and find hope in the wounds of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember all those who have died, those we love and see no longer. We commend all those who we have prayed for now to the loving intercession of our Blessed Lady. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, hear the prayers we make in the name of your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Look kindly, Lord, upon these holy offerings, which we make in honour of St. Benedict, and grant that, by following his example in seeking you, we may merit the gifts of unity in your service and of peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For, as on the festival of St Benedict, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may become for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you, he broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me.
When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again he praised you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. And as we offer you the bread of life and cup of salvation, so we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with St Benedict, St Pancras, and all the saints, to feast at your table in heaven, through Christ, and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. The Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world, free me by this your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Corpus Christi, my custodiat in vita eterna. Sanguinis Christi, in custodia te in vita vetera.
This is the steward faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Merciful God, who gave such grace to your servant, Benedict, that he served you with singleness of heart and loved you above all things. Help us, whose communion with you has been renewed in this sacrament, to forsake all that holds us back from following Christ and to grow into his likeness from glory to glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Shut 